Hey everybody, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings and another exciting edition of What's in the Box! What's in the Box? What's in the Box? That's where I bring Ken in and Ken tells me about uh, his subscription box to the Nonsuch Brewery here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Very cool place, a lot of good beers and you got the subscription so I don't yeah. have to get one too. So this helps me out a lot. <laughs> Nice. All right, so so what'd you get this month? So, so what are we gonna try? Yeah, so this is the March box, and uh, I sent you a picture, so you can maybe post a picture yep. up. You can see what's in the box. Uh, there was a petite saison this month, which we've already sampled. yeah we sampled that before this video, and it's nice, very good. Yeah, uh, there was a bourbon barrel aged Belgian stout, which is a very nice stout. Uh, and around uh, St. Patrick's Day, they did an Irish red. Uh, this is a very nice beer. It's kind of it got a cola kind of feel taste to it it's it's uh interesting it's it's yeah it's a lovely little beer. i have had it before but it's been a while actually that was very early in one flight down i did um the first saint patrick's oh, nice. day yeah, yeah. i did the irish uh, local irish inspired beers and that was one of them and it was very good but i nice. don't remember that quality of it and there's something special here we're going to try yeah today. there were uh two bottles two large bottles that came in a pear infused golden strong and uh, there was also a plum infused. Okay. So we're gonna try the pear one. Uh, I happened to be at Nonsuch a couple nights ago and they were saying that this one is sold right out. If, you, if you're in Winnipeg and you happen to find this, I heard uh, the beer boutique in Transcona may still have a bottle Ooh, or two. Okay, okay. Uh, but they do not have it at Nonsuch anymore. Uh, so we're gonna give this one a try. Let's do it. All right, I've got some uh, appropriate glassware that I brought out for this. It's got the fancy, it's a fancy bottle cage. Oh, right now, the so cage, you know, cork and cage, so. Yeah, you might need to yeah. f speed up the film <laughs> on this one. You know, how long it takes you to get that cork out. Yeah, well, sometimes these corks are tough, but sometimes those wax seals are even worse, so. Yeah, let's see, you might want the towel. I might want the towel. Oh, no, no, it's coming. It's okay. coming. Yeah, this is going to be the, yeah, see this one? Gun smoke there, look wow. at that. Whoa! <laughs> well, you pour that when I clean up. Yes, clean up your keyboard there. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, so. I'm, yeah, good thing you got a lot of bar mats here. So this is, oh, <laughs> this is very active. Wow. Very active, look at that. That's gonna wow. take a while. Wow, Johnny hard pour, look at that. I did not hard pour that. <laughs> look at the bubbles on that like it's just so active and they're like it's like fish eyes like, yeah that's uh, crazy uh yeah so when i was at nonsuch the other night the our server was raving about this okay she was uh said it was her, her favorite one from uh from this batch uh, i have not tried it yet though you got a way better pour than i did I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk <laughs> there we go oh nice Nice. Look at that. It looks like a, like a dessert. Ice cream milkshake. Yeah. Float. Ice cream float. Yeah. That's the look. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, let's uh, check the nose first. A little funky. Yeah, a little funky for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, not getting pear necessarily. No, I'm just getting that funk. That funk is very, very yeah. funk forward. <laughs> it, is, it is funk forward. Yes, it's. Uh, we got that, the funk. We got the funk. The, the Flanders Red we did last month. Yeah, oh, that. Getting, getting a little bit of that. Yeah. That kind of, a, not, I don't think it was be as intense. But. No, that that was probably the funkiest beer I ever had. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got the funk out with that one. But uh, this this is, it's like a, yeah, a little, little bit of that, but a mellower Very for hazy, sure. Eh? Very hazy, yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, Want to try it out? Let's give it a go. All right. A bit of a sour note up front. Um, yeah. I'm still not necessarily getting pear. I don't think I am either, but it's good. It's not bad, but I'm wow. not not getting pear. Like it feels kind of crushable. Yeah, it goes down pretty easy. It's seven point four percent. Ooh. So uh, aged in. So oh, here's the bottle. Aged in uh, bourbon barrels for six okay. months before being infused with pear. Huh. This Belgian ale opens with cider aromas before whiskey undertones and notes of oak. We're supposed to enjoy this at six to nine degrees Celsius with chicken or barbecue. 
I didn't make any chicken. I could have. I could have easily made some chicken. I, did, I didn't call ahead. So. No. Not next time. <laughs> next time. We, we need to do a food pairing uh, episode because yeah. non such is known for their food pairings. Yes. Um, absolutely are. I mean, we're not going to have their kitchen, but no, they, no. they're very good at recommending what to have. Uh, I don't get uh, the whiskey, but I do get the cider at the, at, yeah. the, at the front of that. It's very tasty, though. Wow. That is good. That's not bad at all. I, I, um, I see what my server was talking about. That is a, a very nice beer. And it's kind of getting better each sip, too. Yeah. Um, yep. That first sip, I got a real sour note off the front. I'm not even getting that anymore. I said, it feels almost like a like a mellow summertime kind of beer, which at seven yeah. percent you don't want to pound too many of these back. No, you don't. Back the deck, no. but uh, but I it's mean, got that kind of feel to it. I do have the plum one still. Maybe we can save that for a deck beer. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. It does still have like a a, a thickness at the end, like mm -hmm. going down. Which would keep it from getting too crushable. Like you're not gonna pound them back with that kind of no, no, no. thick yeah, mouthfeel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but up front, it's so light and bright. And yeah, quite refreshing actually. Mm. Yeah, that's that's a quite a nice beer. Growing on me more with each sip. So, um, so I would say another winner from Nonsuch. Absolutely. All right. Well, yes. thanks for bringing us by, Ken. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, cheers. Cheers. And thank you all for cheers. dropping by the uh, Terry Al Basement Pub. We'll see you all again soon. Cheers. And I'm tired and I need to go home.